guys, I know we're all just used to things working, right? But when it comes to cars, there are a few things you need to check to make sure your car isn't gonna let you down. When I'm racing, I'm lucky to have the race crew there to make sure my car is ready and good to go. As for my daily, I check it myself, and you can too. It's easy to check it. All you need to know is how, so let's go through the main things you need to know with the help of super cheap auto and road safety ambassador, Russell White. Once you've popped the bonnet, there's only a couple of things that you need to look for. The first thing you need to find is the dipstick. This allows you to check the level of the engine oil. Simply pull the dipstick out and wipe off any oil with a clean cloth. Push the dipstick back into its original position, then remove it again to check the level of the oil on the markings on the end of the dipstick. To check the coolant level, you'll need to make sure that both the engine and the radiator are completely cool. So let's start with the overflow bottle. This is a clear plastic container connected to the radiator and has maximum and minimum levels marked clearly on the side. Some power steering reservoirs may also have a dipstick built into the reservoir cap. So all you'll need to do is to open the cap to check that out. As with checking the oil, make sure that the car is on level ground and that the engine is off. And check the owner's manual if you're in any doubt or maybe get some expert help. So check your tyre pressures on a weekly basis to make sure that they're correctly inflated. And remember to check the spare at the same time. Now ideally all this should be done on a weekly basis with a proper tyre gauge and part of that check should also be looking at the overall condition of each tyre. If you see any uneven wear, if you see any tread that's nearly worn down to a wear bar or less than 2mm, if there's any hairline cracks or any sort of damage on the tyre, be sure to get that tyre to a specialist and get it checked out or replaced. Once you've stopped safely, it's just a case of finding which bulb is gone and replacing it. Now you can put your hazard lights on to see which one is out, or of course, you can always ask a friend to help you to check that too. It's just a case of replacing the bulb and you should be good to go. But head and tail lights don't give you any sound to let you know that a light could be out. A new set of wiper blades is one of those little things that can make a big difference. Next thing you want to check out is the windscreen washer bottle. Now this is a straightforward job to keep this topped up. Just pop off the cap and top up with water when necessary. Now you can also add some glass cleaning concentrate to the washer bottle. This just gives you a bit more grime fighting power to help keep your windscreen clean. Now firstly your car shouldn't leak. The only puddle it should be leaving is a bit of water from the air conditioning system. So a puddle of oil or some colour liquid that's on the ground is a sure sign that something isn't right. So maintaining your car isn't just something nice to do, it's something you must do. As we've shown, there's just a few simple checks you can easily do. If you have any questions or need any help, go see the team at Super Cheap Auto. So remember, don't forget it. Check it! Drive safe.